Okay, so we are running, I think. Okay, so uh, welcome, welcome to whoever sees this. Um, so we're going to go over a video I put out before on my YouTube channel. Uh, you can check that out, my profile. And this is just a rehash. This is to have um, traditional live engagement for people. Um, this is more technical and the reasons why I'm with TradingView. Um, I've used numerous trading platforms and programming. And I will tell you, TradingView is the answer. Okay, so let's start off why TradingView. Um, there's a number of reasons here, technically speaking. Um, generally, it's technology. Uh, there's a lot of good multiple open um, operating system support, including Linux. This is a big deal for me. Um, they're pretty well open on everything that you can access. Um, it's pretty strong uh, set of reasons. So we'll go over them. So the first reason, as I said, is technology. I think technology is one of the big things that uh, uh, TradingView brings to the table. It said they uh, have multiple operating system support. That's including uh, mobile as well. If you're into uh, non or de-Googled, you can run TradingView on it as well. And uh, it's, it's that good. So the other big thing over the years since TradingView has grown they pretty well have some of the probably the best charting uh out there uh it's very polished um also as i said the big thing that's going to be a, a big deal for a lot of people soon i wouldn't be surprised it is or it isn't is mobility with the app and the service when you run your own set of bots your own set of uh, just whatever technology you kind of generally have to watch it uh if it's on desktop or even on cloud um, but yet you're going to be really limited on the apps that are available and, uh, that's going to kind of draw you back. But whereas with the advancements of, um, trading view, especially the apps are very sophisticated. Um, especially if you're on a tablet, like an iPad, uh, I think there's a lot of advantages with it and, um, it just enables you to be on the go and trade and have everything uploaded in a one set of servers. So you don't have to worry about the technology. If the server goes out, what do you do? You know, things like that. It's just, there is literally a lot of advantages here. So again, as you can see here, no limits of sessions. So some platforms will have license control. Um, you can have maybe two sessions open at once. I haven't seen any limit yet with trading views. So you can have maybe three, four sessions open at once on mobile across different desktop so there's i haven't seen any sessions there and the thing it's 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 channeling into one interface um so you can have let's say three multiple brokers or exchanges across the board and you can have each of those apps dedicated to each each connection be it a broker or an exchange crypto exchange so you can there's there's many many ways to, to attack it a lot of flexibility here now one of the big drawbacks though um don't want to say it's a drawback but for some coming into it they'll say well it's not java it's not python it's not c plus plus it's one of these proprietary languages i could say the same thing about metatrader i could say the same thing about thinkorswim i could say the same thing about a lot of like trade trading trade station a lot of these platforms have proprietary languages but they don't have the large community like um trading view has like into the millions so remember a trading view literally has millions and millions of concurrent users each month i think it's probably safe to say it's the largest uh community online for any type of investment or trading or automation with trading so there's a lot of huge advantages here um so it comes back to pine script the language I find PineScript very intuitive, very easy to work with. Um, they're always making the language or improving it. Um, and they seem to be somewhat backward compatible, no different than MetaTrader. Trader 4 and 5, if you're in the Forex world. Uh, with MetaTrader, I just don't like the language. I just find PineScript to be a lot more intuitive, a lot easier to get around, and um, just overall a lot better. 
Okay, so that's the technology. If you guys got, got any questions, let me know during the chat. That's the whole point of this. Now, one other big thing that people may not know is I don't want to say high frequency trading, but I've seen a lot of um, trading platforms out there, and none of them will give you a sub one minute set of data okay it's not going to be sub one second but for the lowest i've seen this is pretty close to getting to high frequency uh you'll get um even other platforms are just down to a minute um anything down to a minute is not high frequency trading even the sub one minute is not high frequency trading you're you're actually in the nanoseconds and microseconds to be considered uh high frequency any any marketer that tells you that or or doesn't tell you that or just pushing some kind of scam on you so be very careful of that and educate yourself on what really high frequency trading is i'm not and there's no way i'm saying trading view is high frequency trading but when you get the ability to trade under a minute that's a very unique feature but depends what you're trading because obviously liquidity and volume uh will matter next thing is the live trading now what I have here listed is my set of brokers that I use in exchange. Um, so for live trading, the big game changer, I think, for uh, TradingView was last October when Interactive Brokers said that they'll allow live trading on TradingView. A lot of people may not know that. So you're now eliminating the third-party software like trade, trades, uh, TradingView. I'm uh, sorry, Trader uh, Workstation. So you don't have to have your platform connect into it. And I think it also takes away the uh, what my friend would call a coffee break, where the server will, will get knocked out at quarter to 12 midnight or five to midnight or whenever it is. You may not be affected by that. I still have yet to test that, but I'd be really surprised if it was there. Um, but uh, e even still, it shouldn't interface your connection uh, into the market because uh, you can truly uh, have your strategy or I, uh, whatever idea running with trading view um and shouldn't be interrupted by the disconnection there again i could be wrong so that's a game changer right there with interactive brokers that pretty well is the equity futures options is all covered obviously through interactive brokers you also get the crypto as well if you're in the states i think they're rolling out crypto live trading in other countries i'm still waiting for me the only thing when it comes to trading view it's fairly limited um on the crypto back in the day binance was fine binance is still supported but i don't know if you guys have kept up to date with binance i'm not going to get into that that's up to you if you want to continue using binance but they do uh, trading view does support binance um if you are like myself living in ontario canada probably one of the most restricted jurisdictions on the planet for crypto ontario all all uh crypto exchanges had to be um, registered at the uh, beginning of this year or thereabouts and there's only six uh, exchanges so the only one that I have access to being in Ontario Canada is Gemini so that's the only disadvantage I have with the crypto um, there's a whole load of new things that they're trying to do here in Canada restrict people even further more and more brokers are leaving Canada because of it I'm not again I'm not getting into that um, the other big thing that Binance supports are a lot of really good um, uh, Forex exchanges. So if you're into Pepperstone, they got you there. I use Oanda. I haven't really moved off. I only use Oanda for trading uh, for data only. I don't live trade on um, Oanda, but that is uh, available if you wanted. Um, so Oanda support for live trading is there as well. So there's some really good big advantages there with Oanda. Now, the other big thing I'm frustrated with being on the traditional trading platform, um, I'm not going to name them, but um, one of the big disadvantages is you have to get a third party uh, data source for specifically for the equity markets in the U.S., depending upon where you're at. I would use something like DX feed. That's $50 a month. Um, that can get pretty excessive over a year. So that will write there be more expensive than using trading view itself for the data as well i think the data is like four or five bucks coming from places like the cme and whatnot it's very low fees uh, for live trading data um and and they've got a lot of coverage globally now for a lot of brokers i just read they added pakistan 
uh, Sri Lanka. So they're really expanding into new markets with TradingView. You will not get that anywhere else on any trading, uh, any trading um, platform or any broker. TradingView is giving you the access. So if you're with Interactive Brokers and you get access to that data, you can then live trade on Interactive Brokers as well. So again, big, big advantages there for the data the data feed um the data i've seen can be 45 dollars, 49 dollars to all the way up to 110 that's just for a basic um mark stock market fee for the us and then you got to add on and add on and i'm not sure but i think with um trading view you do get live trading data as part of your account so there's that um uh, moving along moving along okay so as i said with the live data this is really really key um as I said, it's very, very cheap, um, and you don't need to connect into something like uh, Interactive Brokers, Trader Workstation, or TWS. Uh, just, it's just a less pain. Um, same with Oanda. With one platform, you got to log in before you connect into the platform. You don't have to do that. It's all out of the gate once you open up your um, TradingView session or app or um, desktop app, whatever you're using. It's very easy. You don't have to worry about these things. All right. Any questions so far? Comments before I go to the next slide. This could be the shortest and quickest presentation I've done for trading you. <laughs> um, anybody out there? Let me know. Let me know if you're alive. See people come in. Oh, that's that's all I've got. Anyways, um, let me tell you what I'm planning to do with uh, trading view. There's numerous scripts that I'm writing. Um, I'm on the pre premium level. I've just updated my profile. So if you want to know more, just go into my profile or signature on any of my trading ideas. You'll see the um, my website as well as you will see uh, the um, Telegram and my Discord server connection. So you connect there to see it. Um, so I'm really ruling out, you know, I'm up to 108 uh, followers now. It doesn't sound like a lot, but considering all the other social media, that's one area I've not talked about is the social media, uh, application of, of, uh, trading views, very powerful. It's the most engaging. They don't censor you. Well, they, they will censor you. You got rules to follow, but the thing is, is that they're free and open. They don't, they don't seem to limit your reach on your trading ideas. Unlike something like YouTube or Facebook or whatever. So I'm not seeing that either. It's pretty good. It's one of the more open networks for that. Um, there's a lot of good things going on with trading views. As long as you play by the rules, you don't try to cheat the system um, and keep it at that. Anybody else uh, got any questions or comments? It's 15 minutes. Wow. Very short tonight. Uh, anybody? Anybody? Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, no, maybe. Let's go. Anybody? No? Okay, I'll do a going once, a going twice, going three times. Woohoo! Okay, we tried. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a good day or night, wherever you are. Check out the uh, profile again for uh, the Discord and Telegram. Because I know you, all you uh, trading uh, users out there like those platforms. So we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Have a good night.